important shit to say. So bear with me and listen to this message, and uh, let's do it. I've got a few things to say today, but what I got to say, it's not directed at any of you all. Juggalos ain't fucking up. We're all just doing what we've been doing since the very beginning, since all this started. All we have been is some down ass fans to some of the dopest music on the planet. So this isn't directed to any one of us. This is directed at all these mother out here that's been disrespecting and discriminating against all of us for no reason at all. Fuck that shit! This message is for the punk ass FBI. So for you and anyone out there who has any kind of twisted idea what they think juggalos are and what they're about, it's time to pay close attention to what we're all saying today. So ask yourself this, just why are you discriminating against juggalos for? Usually people only discriminate what they're scared of and what they don't understand. What the, are you all scared of because we're different? Because we look different? Because we dress different? Because we don't follow the trends and listen to bullshit industry music and what the rest of these sheep listen to? Are you all really that scared of a tattoo of a man running with a hatchet in his hand? Or are you just intimidated by tattoos in general? So you mean to tell me of all the hateful and violent ass groups that out here in this world that you could be investigating, you decide that the best thing for you to do is waste the time and money to investigate and fuck with a group of people just because they're fans of a rap group that you feel is untasteful. And we all know that group well, the Insane Clown Posse. You all do realize that, don't you? That's what Juggalos are. We're just a bunch of fans of some dope-ass underground music. Yeah! We don't like the same music you like. We got our own shit. But being different does not make us gang members. I've been associating with Juggalos for almost 15 years, and I have never one time heard a Juggalo refer to themselves as a gang member or to be involved in any kind of gang activity. If you really investigated Juggalos and did your homework about them, you'd realize that they are some of the most caring, sharing, yeah. down-ass people on the planet. Warriors! But it's pretty obvious that you haven't put in the correct research about Juggalos or you would all know that. Yep. It's pretty ridiculous and embarrassing that you all are appointed by our government with our tax money and yes, Juggalos pay taxes. And you're paid very well to do that, to search and seek out real threats to our country and its people. But instead of looking for the real dangers in America, you resort to targeting a musical culture of fans to sweep juggalos along with your incompetence under the rug. Most people are scared of what they don't understand. And it's pretty clear that you don't understand juggalos. So instead of targeting real threats, your lack of research causes you to easily point the finger and accuse juggalos of being a gang, which is false in every sense of the accusation. Let me ask you this, FBI. How many times on the news do you hear about a juggalo doing gang shit? I can't answer that. Because I don't recall ever hearing anything negative about Juggalos on the news. Except maybe doing some stupid knucklehead shit. But that's not gang related. That's just people fucking up and doing dumb shit, right? Yeah! That's just part of being human. We all fuck up and do dumb shit. But that doesn't make us gang members, does it? No! What I do see on the news, damn near every day, are stories of police officers shooting innocent people just for being a different skin color. So why aren't you investigating that? That sounds like gang activity to me, does it not? So FBI, why don't you take all those high salaries you're making and investigate that? Yep. People are fucking getting shot and dying by police officers on a weekly and sometimes daily basis. But you all are worried about some fans of a rap group who paint their faces and spray Fago at concerts? Yeah. That's your worries? Yeah. Well, 
what's wrong with this picture? What makes Juggalos a gang to you? Because they paint their faces, get drunk, smoke weed, sometimes act like idiots at a concert? Well, if that's the case, how come you all are investigating country singers? They all dress the same, like we dress the same. They wear cowboy hats and cowboy boots. They get drunk and act unruly, just like us. But I don't see you all investigating them and targeting them as gang members, do you? You all need to get your shit straight and start looking at the bigger picture. This country has a way bigger problem that you all need to be worrying about than a group of fans who like to paint their faces and go to concerts. So FBI, until you all can man up and admit that you fucked up, because you fucked up, right? And you all been fucking up a lot lately. Take Juggalo's names off your little list and out of the database, and until you all can do that, you all can kiss some Juggalo ass. Fuck all y'all. Woo, motherfucking woo. And one last thing, there was a very expensive watch that somebody lost here tonight. It was turned over to me. I got it in my pocket. I'm going to go to the right side of the stage, and you're going to explain what the watch looks like before I give it to you. But it's probably a two or $300 watch. I'm going to be on the right side of the stage. I love you all, Juggalos. Thanks for having me out here. My favorite weirdo.